to the Tactical Family Channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Russian ammo ban that has taken effect. Now this ban took effect in September 7th. I know there were a lot of videos uh, coming up to September 7th and there were some around September 7th and a little bit after September 7th. I kind of wanted to see what the ripple effect was going to be before I went ahead and made a video. So first off, this affects ammunition made in Russia. So according to what has taken effect, uh, we can no longer import ammunition uh, into our country if it's made in Russia. Now there are some caveats to this which we're going to discuss. As you see in front of me, I have some made in Russia ammunition. This is by Tula steel cased 762 by 39. I also have a US Palm Banana AK mag that I did a window cut on which I think is really cool. Ammunition that is made in Russia. Some other brands are Tula as you see, Wolf, Bear along with some others. This type of ammunition ranges from 9mm, uh, I believe there's even some in 380 and it goes up to your rifle cartridges. This ammunition is great for range time, uh, training, just having some fun. It's used for self-defense. It's used for home defense. It's good ammunition at the end of the day. Yes, you do have those out there that say they will never fire steel cased ammunition in their weapon. I have fired it pretty much in all my weapons. Uh, it works flawlessly in my eyes. I've never had any major issue with steel cased ammunition. Uh, yes, is it a little bit more dirty? Sure. But as long as you take care of your weapon, you maintain it, and you clean it, I've really personally never run into any issues. This type of ammunition did help keep the market a little bit lower with ammunition because of the price, or I should say the low price, of steel-cased ammunition or ammunition made in Russia. Now, before this came out and before I heard about it, along with some other reports that I heard, uh, Ammunition made in Russia was floating around the 20 cents. Now, I believe earlier in the uh, pandemic, um, you had a lot of the ammunition, even steel case ammunition, was I believe in the 40 or 50 cent range. Uh, this ammunition has now jumped back up into the 50 cent or 60 cent range per round. So, will the U.S. market pick up the slack on this? Yes, I believe they will, but it will definitely take some time, and I mean some time, before we would see any effect from them picking up the slack. If you've been wanting some of the steel cased ammunition, I would say to definitely go pick some up. Um, it's a good time, I think. You can still find it. Uh, yes, it's more expensive than it was last month, I believe, but at the end of the day, it's still cheaper than some of the brass cased ammunition. So again, great for uh, the range, great for training, great for uh, just going out and uh, firing your weapon and maintaining your proficiency with your weapon. So they said that all new and pending import forms will be denied. So basically, they're not accepting anymore and if any of them were pending before being approved, uh, those are going to be denied. However, there are already approved import forms uh, and those forms can be anywhere from tens of millions, maybe more or maybe a little less, but I'm thinking it's still going to be a good large quantity amount of ammunition that's cool, that has already been approved to be imported. So we should still see plenty of Russian made ammunition come into this country from the approved forms. Also, from what I hear is that these approved forms can go anywhere from 12 to 24 months into the future. So we could be looking at uh, possibly up to two years of approved import ammunition that's already been approved to come in. Also, there are other countries that do produce 762 by 39 along with many other calibers. Uh, some other brands are PPU, Fiocchi, and others. So even though this has occurred and this has happened, um, I think with the amount of approved ammunition, we're still going to see this ammunition come in for some time. Uh, I think the U.S. market will step up and start producing some of these 
uh, rounds as well. But also, again, we do have other countries that produce the popular 7.62x39, along with many other calibers that can still import into this country. So my overall thinking is I wouldn't personally panic. Uh, will price fluctuate with uh, steel cased ammunition? Yes, I believe it can go up some. I believe that it uh, may stay currently where it's at. It may even drop a little bit. A um, lot of factors come to play on the price of ammunition and it can change daily. Uh, I think you can count on finding it for some time. I can still find it online. Uh, I think there will be dry spout, spouts. I believe that the uh, importing um, right now, as you know, a lot of ships are just sitting off the coast. So I think other factors may play into the part of we may not see it for a little bit, but then all of a sudden it will be there again. So don't panic, but definitely go out and grab some. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And you guys have a good day.